So, firewall's back in, all prepped, holes punched. Haven't punched these yet. I'm not sure where they've got to go exactly. Welded it up. I did manage to tilt it back a little bit with a very small shim. Um, wasn't much, but I think it'll help. And uh, yeah, now we're that part's done. Uh, some quality grinding time coming up. A lot of grinding in the back still, so I figure I'll have one day next weekend just grinding. But next I'm going to move on to the mini tubs. I'm going to start to get those situated and see what I got to do for those. Uh, we'll go from there. Alright, next we're going to start the Detroit Speed mini tubs. These tubs are, as most of you probably know, two and three quarter inches wider than the stock ones. So you can put some big old tires under it. It's going to be awesome. So they give you a template that you trace on here. A little tricky with these returns because they're pretty lazy. So you kind of tap them back, flatten them out first, get it somewhat right. Scribe your lines where you got to cut. Then there's some fold marks down there you got to cut. Now, I'm a little sketchy. You know, this is the back of my rocker surfaces. Um, I might cheat that ahead to here for right now, just so that I don't pull a bad mistake and end up a little short. I can always trim up more later. But, you know, the big thing is to get this cut out up through here. You know, I've drilled the spot welds out that are reinforcing the shock mount. And now it's time to get the grinder out and have at it. So that'll be the next step and I'll bring you back to have a look. Mini tubs are cut. Um, I gotta do some grinding, cleaning up. This is gonna be a little weird again because this frame doesn't stay with this system. So I'm going to build a plate that kind of does this and then does a maybe three inches down, two inches down around here, um, just in attaching it to the floor so that the mini tub has something really nice to hang from. That's about the only thing I can think to do while avoiding welding to this frame rail because that has to come out. So they're all cut. It's been a long weekend. I pretty much call it a day, I think. I'm going to uh, post this up, and uh, the other side's the same way. Everything cut pretty decent. Um, you know, I did the Juby method where I took the top off first, drilled out the spot welds, then I was able to, you know, cut this pretty flush. Um, I tap it back in, grind it up, clean it up, prime it, all of that jazz. But mini tubs look like uh, they're gonna fit very nicely. I gave, I did leave. I'm, I'm about an inch, a half an inch short here. Well, you can see what my scribe line is. Just wanted to give myself a little bit of room up there in case it didn't fit exactly as I thought. But we'll be okay. So I'm set to cut that back and uh, get it right if I need to. Um, again, the mini tubs are there. I've got to get those in epoxy soon. Figure once I get these up here in the holes drilled and everything ready for to plug weld them in, I'll hit them with epoxy and get those so that they'll keep and not rust. You know, they send them in bare metal, and you can see I've already got fingerprints all over them, so I've got to prep those, epoxy, do all of that. Probably try to work that out when I get all this grinding done that I got to do on these plug welds. I'll grind that up at the same time so I'll burn through one of those cans of epoxy or two and and uh, it's always best if you can use those up. They don't, the shelf life is like 48 hours once you activate it so you gotta, you gotta really roll with it. So here we go. We'll see how we do. We had to stop and do a bit of a reset here. This garage was out of control. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so had to bring in some reinforcements. 
and uh, we get in here, just hold the whole thing out, cleaned out a bunch of stuff, and actually mop the floors. I won't, they won't get much better until I can pressure wash them, but at least took care of the majority of the filth and rust and dirt that's fallen out of the old chassis. Things are pretty clean now, so I don't expect a lot more of that sort of action. Um, but yeah, so yeah, did a reset. This will help. Looking for, you know, won't be looking for things every five minutes. So here today, I am going to, remember now, I want to be very, very clear. This is not a normal mini tub installation that you would see with your normal um, Detroit Speed package. This is a Detroit Speed package as far as the mini tubs go, but I'm not really going to be able to use much of the, the plated in here because, and the reason this is not the same is because this section of frame here has to come out. Uh, I just wanted to stress that because I don't want anybody headed down this path and find out that, yeah, it really wasn't the same. So, uh, what I need to do is I'm going to plate this anyway, even though this is going to come out. I'm going to plate the interior of this frame rail just to add a little extra strength because before the, the new Scott's Hot Rod full frame gets here, I'm going to want to set this down on the suspension. So, you know, I screwed in everywhere where that frame rail is coming out. Um, just used screws, hooked it down. Uh, it's pretty rugged. Of course, I welded it in the back where it needed to be welded. Uh, yeah, so what I need to do is I'm going to plate this independent of the floor. Keep this just, you know, make a solid plate in here. Good, fine. Then I'm going to undercut this a bit, work out your normal. I'm going to make a one-piece plate that kind of comes up around like this. And then I'll have at least a couple inches of strip back through here around the curve just so that I can, you know, have something good to, and, and something meaningful to mount the mini tub to. Um, but it'll only be attached to these inner braces here for the shock tower and the floor. It will not be attached to the frame rail again because that has to come out. So just being mindful of that. I uh, just don't want to mislead anybody into thinking, oh, this is the proper way to do a mini tub install because this is a bit of a hybrid. It's a mini tub install with a full frame. So that's where we're at. I'm going to get started on that this morning. You know, yesterday I, I, we literally spent all afternoon cleaning this garage and getting everything sorted out and prepared so that I can get through stuff pretty quickly today. So that's my goal. Um, hoping I can get through some stuff and get these things plated today. Uh, I've got to prep the sides of my floor pan for, for plug welds. Uh, they're going into an older, um, you know, they're going into existing rocker panels. So I've got to plug weld all that. Another thing I found out is I got something going on here. This brace apparently does is in the way of the floor pan drop so i've got a i've got to figure out an approach to that but this brace is where it's supposed to be i believe um, it kind of sits up in this return and that's fine uh, but the floor the floor pan returns run into it so i've either got to trim the the return down on this piece or something but i'll address that more when i get to it but uh yeah, that's where we're at. I did prime the, uh, um, the, the mini tubs so they wouldn't rust because they've been sitting around for a while now. And of course, here's the outer tubs and the rear valance pan is in here too. Just kind of got it out of the way while I was cleaning. Uh, but yeah, that's where the fun's going to begin today. So I will bring you back when I get some, uh, some resolution on this stuff. First thing I'm going to do is take the Detroit Speed template, put it on the bottom of the frame down here, and make sure that I'm cut back far enough. Uh, not, I don't think I am just yet. Uh, I want to make sure this is completely out of the way, so there's no re, no uh, constraining point there. So that's where I'm starting. Talk to you a bit. Bring you back when we're ready and we have something. Okay, I've prepped the frame. <clears throat> 
just to support the weight. I didn't go crazy cleaning it up or anything. <coughs> <coughs> then I made sure that this was all cleared so that my plate can sit under that floor but on those supports so I can tack weld them all, you know, plug weld them all into that. Um, I'll show you how I did that. I just took my magnetic level, strapped on a piece of material that's the same thickness as the plate I'm going to use, and then just kind of go down through, because it's really hard to judge sometimes. And you just kind of go down through, make sure you got the room, and then now you can make your piece. Should be very similar both sides, but you know, it probably won't be. We'll verify that. Um, but we'll make a template now. We'll cut out our, our plates that are going to be welded to the floor here, backed with those supports, weld that all up, and we should be on our way. Oh, a little tip here too. I don't have great light everywhere in this garage, like on this back side over here I struggle a little bit. I just get a little USB chargeable sticky light from Amazon or wherever and just stick that on my helmet and then when I'm when I'm welding I turn that on it works great so uh, it's rechargeable it's pretty pretty easy to deal with so yeah that's where I'm at I've got these frames like I said I didn't go nuts cleaning them up I just kind of made sure they weren't going to interfere with what I'm what's going to stay in the car and uh, now I'm ready to get back in and uh, start making a template to build my side plates so we'll see how it goes okay here's what I did just made a couple of cardboard construction paper ish templates marked where I wanted my holes transferred those to a piece of sheet metal and just cut them with a plasma cutter and yeah, they came out all right there all the top edges are a little wavy, but that's where the panel is, so I'm trying to match it up best I can. Uh, if you ever want to know how to roll one of those so it looks decent, <laughs> those things right there just about match it exactly. So you can roll it right over a uh, bottle head. Um, now, on the body, everything is prepped up set back in so these can be welded nicely uh, that's the next step I'm gonna start uh, tacking these in leveling them up and see what I got I got to recheck the level on the chassis before I do it so I can level these plumb these I mean um, but yeah here we go well that took a little longer than expected but it's in um, you can see that I have a separate plate in behind just closing out the frame rail. That is not the way you do it where a normal car. Uh, I fabricated these plates. I did not use the ones that came with the Detroit Speed Kit. If you need those, um, my suggestion would be to go to Amazing Sheet Metal. They have one piece. Um, one piece uh, block out plates like this but you know they're wider if they're for the full frame width um, I probably could have used those and cut those down a little bit but I already had ordered all this but he does sell a very nice um, one piece plate set for uh, mini toes uh, and they work fantastic so I would uh, I would definitely consider those. I probably should have considered those here and just cut them down. But again, I just want to emphasize, this is not the normal setup. You can see I've got a plate in behind here that closes out the frame rail, but it's not attached to the floor at all. So that again, I can remove this portion of the frame rail to make room for the Scott's Hot Rods full frame system. So yeah, that's about it. Oh, one other thing. Uh, I don't know where I came up with these, but I found this on Amazon. These things, are, it's like a little two inch flap wheel. They are amazing for grinding um, plug welds. It works super good. And, and literally, I did the entire floor, fire, floor to pier panel, firewall to front, 
and a bunch of others on one disc. They last a long time and they work really, really good for plug welds. Uh, I haven't seen those mentioned anywhere, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I did buy them on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description here if anybody's interested in those. They work good and they last a good long time. Um, yeah, so that's it. I, I've got my mini tubs here and uh, I might mock those up tomorrow before I get on to the other bits that I got to do. But I haven't really cut the front to length yet because I want to wait and get the body on there and know where my rocker panel distance is first. Um, just to be on the safe side. Because that's pretty critical that that line up with the back of the rocker panel, that return. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a long day. But the plates are in; they're welded, they're ground. Um, so far, so good. So tomorrow, tomorrow I think I got to move on to those trunk floor drops and try to figure out what to do about that. Uh, convertible bracket back there for the shakers for the uh, vibration dampeners um, but yeah that's about it for tonight pretty wrung out I got the I just I really wanted to jam and get these two side plates done tonight so that I don't have to do them in the morning so anyway that's it for me today